to the Learning Academy. Today we'll be exploring the black hole that is at the center of the Milky Way galaxy. Astronomers have reported that approximately 3.5 million years ago, a supermassive black hole that sits at the center of our Milky Way galaxy unleashed an ultra-massive burst of energy. It's that when the black hole would have released this massive burst of energy, our primitive ancestors would have been walking on the various continents, possibly walking in Africa. Maybe, just maybe, they would have seen this glow in the sky, but they would have not known what it is. They would have looked to the constellation Sagittarius and seen this ghostly glow of light coming across. And astronomers also perceived that this light may have continued for one million years. Now, oh, many, 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 many years later, astronomers would have used the Hubble Space Telescope and its unique capabilities to discover more clues about this cataclysmic, ultra-massive, super explosion. Hubble Space Telescope would have discovered that far out in our galaxy, the black hole's light would have reached so far out into space that it would have left a vast trail of gas into the Milky Way. And it would have affected two of the Milky Way's most prominent satellite galaxies, the Large Magellanic Cloud and the Small Magellanic Cloud. The burst of energy from this black hole would have possibly resulted in a large hydrogen-based cloud about 100 times the mass of our sun falling onto the disk of material that swirls near the central area of the black hole. This outburst would have sent cones of blistering ultraviolet radiation above and below the plane of the galaxy and deep into space. It's reported that the flash would have been so powerful that it would have lit up the stream like a Christmas tree. It was indeed a cataclysmic, ultra-massive explosion that would have been the event of all times. It would have been a specific and a special moment in time in our galaxy and in our universe. New discovery shows that there are different regions of the galaxy and that these various regions are linked. It is also very important to note that what happens in the galactic center makes a difference and also affects what happens in the related or the satellite galaxies that orbit our Milky Way. So this explosion would have affected both types of the Magellanic cloud, both the small and the large. Scientists are now learning that the black hole impacts the galaxy and its environment in a distinct and a special way. Many one quasars were explored using the Hubble Space Telescope. These quasars exist far beyond the Magellanic Stream. The discovery and research findings were made possible by Hubble's Space Telescope. The Hubble Space Telescope as a very unique ultraviolet capability which allows it to filter the effects of Earth's atmosphere along with ultraviolet light which cannot be studied from the ground. The Hubble Space Telescope is a project that exists as a result of international cooperation between NASA and the European Space Agency. NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center 
in Greenbelt, Maryland is responsible for the management of the telescope. The Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore is responsible for conducting Hubble science operations. The Space Telescope Science Institute is operated for NASA by the Association of Universities for Research in Astronomy in Washington, D.C. The Hubble Space Telescope was launched into low Earth orbit in 1990 and is still operational. Whilst it is not the first space telescope, it is one of the largest and one of the most versatile and one of the most well-known space telescopes that is used for vital research and also known to be used for public relations in terms of astronomy and space discoveries. Hubble Space Telescope has assisted us to revolutionize our understanding of the universe and the cosmos. Space Telescope was named after an American astronomer. He was famous for his observations that helped to broaden astronomers' view of the universe, which included galaxies outside of our Milky Way. His name was Edwin Hubble, and he was a famous American astronomer. He discovered information on the Andromeda Galaxy, and at the time, he considered it to be a nebula. And later it was discovered that it was a separate galaxy hundreds of thousands of light years away from our Milky Way. He made another groundbreaking discovery in 1929 about the static universe theory, and that led to evidence that other galaxies existed and that these galaxies move away from one another at a constant rate. The origins of the Hubble Space Telescope date back as far as 1946, 10 years prior to the existence of NASA. The launch of the Hubble Space Telescope was delayed by the disaster that happened to the Challenger spacecraft which killed seven astronauts. There was a faulty mirror on the Hubble Space Telescope, and this mirror almost derailed Hubble's mission before it started. The faulty mirror was fixed by a crew of spacewalking astronauts who installed an instrument known as COSTAR in December 1993, which used tiny mirrors to offset the glitch and Hubble's mirror began to work without issue. Hubble Space Telescope is responsible for some of the deepest images that would have been recorded of the universe. The telescope only takes pictures in black and white. Hubble Space Telescope technology helps to provide better methods of detecting breast cancer. Observations that have been recorded by the Hubble Space Telescope would have played a major role in settling debates in regards to the universe and cosmology. Surprisingly, anyone can make a request to use the Hubble Space Telescope. There have been five servicing missions that were done to keep Hubble operational and it has gone well beyond its original 15-year lifespan and persons have put in place a successor for the Hubble Space Telescope. This is the James Webb Space Telescope and it is $9 billion more expensive than the Hubble Space Telescope. Remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. I'm sure you found this information very fascinating, and so have I. I have learned so much about the Hubble Space Telescope.
leave your comments down below and let us know what other space related information you would like us to explore on the Learning Academy. Leave your comments down below, like, comment, share and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thanks for watching.